What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires. Now in this episode we're going to be doing a uh, delivery sort of mission thing. It, I, I've, I've made up the mission, but it's still sort of a mission and we're using obviously um, mods from that big Renault truck uh, conversion pack that I showed you guys in the last Spin Tires video. Um, we're taking a uh, dumper trailer with a huge boulder in the back of it and basically the objective is to take it... Um, all the way up, where we're going to ignore the lumber and the objective, we're going to take it all the way up here, to this corner of the map. So our mission is to get from here to here without getting stuck. It doesn't sound that difficult, but considering the fact that this is a uh, truck built for the road and we've put a uh, massive boulder in the back of the trailer that is extremely heavy, it might end up being a little bit more difficult than I thought. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to be able to do it. I've never tried it before. So if we don't make it, then that's why. Um, I'm doing this, like I said, completely blind uh, as to whether it'll make it or not. So, and as far as the mud goes, it might uh, hurt it quite a bit. Just because of the fact that it's, I mean, I put Kamaz wheels and tires on it. And that's probably the best we're going to get as far as off-road stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and head straight through the river. Now, we're not doing this on hardcore, thank God. We're doing it on casual. Because, like I said, I've never done it before, and I have no idea how it's going to go. The thing, the nice thing about it is, though, we do have enough, uh, we do have enough weight in the back to weigh it down if we need that. So that works for me. All right, come on. There you go. The grip's not too bad. I mean, especially for the amount of weight that's back there, the grip isn't too bad at all. So it's not going to be, thankfully it's not going to be as bad as that one other, like, cargo trailer that I, um, that I tested on the river map. That one got stuck everywhere. I think it might have been because it was so low to the ground, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Now I wonder if it'll help at all by going into high. There we go. Oh, crap. I, I heard it starting to stall out, and I turned the diff lock off, and apparently it wasn't enough. Now, real quick, I'm going to check the map. So we're here. There's a cloaking point up here. We still want to get here, but I don't know if we should go up and to the right or try and go straight through. This might be a bad idea, um, but I'm thinking this and then here might be a better idea. We'll see. Um, I Honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know this map very well at all. This map is probably the least played out of all the maps in spin tires for me anyway Ooh, this looks uh this looks like a mistake but judging from our previous experience it probably it probably won't be too bad it doesn't look that deep either so it should be okay oh yeah it's nowhere near as deep as that other um that other river we had to go through it wasn't really a river it was like a, a like a stream we're not going to get that cloaking point. I'm sorry, but we are not going over there. Just too risky. I think we're safe to stop right here and check. So let's see, like, check where we are. So it goes that, the road goes that way, so that means we're going that way. Assuming it's this road. Um, I, like I said, I may be, uh, it may seem like I have no idea where I am, and that's because... I really don't have any idea where I am. I've only beaten this map once, and that was with, like, three other players. So we had, like, a certain teams doing certain things, and I wasn't really the one that was doing any exploring. I was just the one that delivered stuff. So, I, like I said, I really don't know my way around this map. Ooh, I want to stay out of there. That's for sure. That muddy path, I do not want to take this thing in there. Because it's a lot lower to the ground than a lot of the other trucks. This mud worries me a bit. I'm going to try and cut around it. I think if I try, if I cut around it and cut across the grass, I should be able to avoid it. Okay, which we were able to. So no problem there. And as long as we can kind of keep that trend up of no getting stuck issues, we'll be fine. Go ahead and throw it in high. Oh, come on. Come on, it's bogging down. No! Didn't stall it, but you could hear it. I Hopefully, at least. Hopefully, you guys could hear it starting to bog down. 
This is like Euro Truck Simulator Spin Tires Edition. It's brilliant. I've been absolutely loving this conversion pack. It's probably my favorite conversion pack I've ever tried for spin tires with all these trucks. They look, they look brilliant. They look very, very good. The conversion was done right. The sounds were converted right. Everything was done right and just included in this really nice package. It was really well done. Okay, it's starting to get muddy again. I'm going to check, where, see where I am. Okay, so I was right. I am on what looks to be this road here. Right here. Now, let's see. So if we stay, we stay along this path, this should go... So there is a little trail that goes up in here. We're trying to get, like, up here to this, to that corner. That's where we're trying to get. So... Let's try... Try placing some, uh... Some little, I don't know, destination markers around the area. Let's just try that. We're obviously not going to take the route that it suggests, because it's wrong. Um... <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't, don't bog down on me now. Thankfully, there's a nicely maintained road up there. And if we get stuck in here, we have plenty of trees to pull ourselves out with. So, definitely not a worry or an issue there. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Come on. Yes. You can feel the... Oh, wow. You can really feel the weight of that trailer. It's really, uh, really having an effect on this truck. I want to get out there. So I'm thinking the best thing to do would be to winch. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. The effects of this could be dramatic. Or they could work perfectly like that. That was brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted that the winch to do. Oh no. No! Not again. Yeah, see the truck's just shaking. I guess we could keep using that winch point, but... I don't know, if we keep using that one, then we'll end up pulling the truck on a weird angle. Oh jeez, it's that trailer. The trailer's leaning, it's the boulder in the back of the... <gasps> oh god! The problem is that boulder. That's like the, the main issue now is the trailer. Maybe if I back up and try and straighten it out again. But have the winch ready in case I need it to catch me. Let's try and close that for now. And then we can go ahead and steer around to the other side. And try to avoid those trailer issues. Come on! Oh, come on! You're so close. Get grip. There you go. Only using a little bit of throttle. Only what I need to get grip. And I'm kind of worried that this will tip the truck over. Only going to do it in these little increments. No, it's not too bad. I mean, it did bring... Oh, God! It did bring the truck up on its side, but still... Okay, woo! That was... It's, I think it's probably a good, a good thing that I took that a little bit slow, because... If I didn't, we would have ended up in a really bad way. Now, as far as where to go... I'm a little puzzled, actually. At this point, I'm a little puzzled on which way to go. Because where we are now, where are we? There, there we are. Where we are now, it looks like it should connect up to that. But it doesn't actually look like that in game. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk and see because it should connect up at a certain point. I can see that road. Oh, I almost made a terrible mistake. It's actually probably a better idea just to go through the woods. Or I, may, I might be making a colossal mistake by doing this. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh, the path back here is better than the uh, actual road. It's brilliant. It's not muddy, it's not crazy, it's fine. Hopefully I don't cut into that tree. Okay, we're good. Now, as long as I can... Yeah, this is the road I was looking for. Now, as long as I can avoid the mud... Let's try going left. Trying to avoid the mud. Ooh. Stay to the edge of the road. Until there's no mud. And then just cut out onto the road. You should be good to go. Okay. Woo, that was that was a little bit closer than I expected. Put in the high diff lock off because we don't need it right now. Although we may need it again soon. A break! Because. All right, so we've made it a decent amount of the way, quite well. So we are trying to get up there, right there. This is not a good plan of attack. Um, hmm, it looks really, really muddy in here. That's the only issue I'm finding with that, is it looks really, really muddy in there. So, yeah, that's a river, dude. That's, that's not a good idea. Let's see. I'm going to take a risk, and let's see if there's, like, a road that goes like that. I doubt there is, but let's see if there's a road that goes like that. Don't you dare stall out on me. I'm going to ignore the main road for now, though, because the side road looks to be in much better shape. And I do not want to bog this thing down in the mud. I've done that before, and it's not fun getting it out. It's far from fun getting it out, actually. Getting one of these out of the mud takes absolutely forever, and there's no more road. That's an issue. Although there should be a road over here. And if it's a decent enough road, then I can use it to get back to the other road. And as long as we don't get caught on a tree or anything... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't know what the hell caused that. A road! Yes! Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be mud. This mud's generally not too bad, though. This section is on a couple of maps, and it's not too bad, especially because there's a lot of trees around to winch out of. Or winch onto. To winch yourself out. And it does serve as a nice turnaround sometimes. However, I've only used it as a turnaround when driving the 8x8. So this might be... Um, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it'll actually work. Well, it's looking good so far. Just kind of barreling into the side of the... Yeah, yeah, that's not gone well. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Gone right into the damn wall. And the trailer's jackknifing, so we can't really do anything about it. Except for... Oh, yes. Yes, never mind. Problem solved. Problem solved. I can get that. There. Ish. Uh, sort of. Sort of correct, maybe? Okay, now... Take that. Ah, get rid of that. And winch onto that. So just keep changing the angle. The slightest angle change with your winch can make, the, make a world of difference, really. And now we're turned around and ready to head back the other way. I was kind of worried we were going to sink in here, though. Apparently that's not the case, which is always a good thing. Now, so we're right here. Oh, I see. So we could go this way, and then... That's actually not bad. I'm going to go up here and see how see how bad that is, or if it is. Um, we don't need the GPS. I don't need the GPS. I don't need directions. Maybe I do sometimes, but... Oh, come on!
There we go. I kind of wish it had an extra axle in the back. It, 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 I would prefer a three-axle truck to a two-axle truck, but... I mean, it's not a bad truck at all. It's gotten the boulder this far, but still, I think I might prefer a little bit more, a little bit more powerful truck and one more axle in the back. Yeah, because I kind of have a worry of sinking with a lot of these little side roads. Where does it go here? We can either go this way and go that way. Okay, which we will probably do. As long as it's not a crazy hill or anything. Um... There should be a road there. No, okay, never mind. There's no road there. I was thinking of a different spot on the map. We're good. Now this up here, this should be the intersection we're looking for. Is it? Is it? And yes, okay, that's the intersection we're looking for. I wish I had a scout vehicle with me. A scout vehicle would be brilliant for this because then I could just park the truck, grab the scout vehicle, and then run the scout vehicle up into whatever area we're tr I'm trying to look at. That's what I should have done is installed this conversion pack and then installed a scout vehicle uh, on the side just for, you know, scout purposes. <laughs> scout, you know, a scouting vehicle for scout purposes. Imagine that. Nah, we don't want to use the lights. It, it does some weird funky thing with the with the entire in-game lighting. I know it's realistic, but I still don't like the way it... I don't know. I don't like the way it, it, it messes with the in-game lighting. Oh, no. That's a lot of mud. Um... I'm going that way. Seems to be a lot more reliable. As I get just turned back, there we go. Come on, come on. All right, cool. So this should be, or should be a better choice than the other route. If it's not, I might be pretty mad because then I'll have to turn around back. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Well, no, nah, if we go around the side, we'll be okay. Yes, yes, okay, we were able to avoid the deep mud. Oh, this water is a... Mm, this is an issue. Because the, the, the banks are high. Really high. This... See, the road is right there. But, like, the road is right there. And it most likely goes here... But this is a problem. And a problem that I don't really want to deal with, to be honest. Just because of the fact that we might get that stuck, like, literally right there. Um, and, you know, I'm going to make a decision because we're close. We're really, really close to our objective. But we're going to have to end up turning around and heading down the other way, or at least scouting this area out, because I don't want to just kill the run just because of this uh, body of water here. So... We'll, uh, we'll include that in the next episode where we attempt to get here, wherever here is, and we'll see if it's this way or this way or neither one of those ways, which that could also be a thing. But um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you guys want me to do more uh, improvised delivery missions and, and, and things and spin tires like this, then let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.